Today we're making this amazing VR experience right inside Figma. We don't have to download any secondary tool. All we need to do is open Figma and start designing this VR experience. So to begin with, I have a little template which kind of showcases the different ways a VR experience can be and also showcases the kind of grid that you can have for VR. We're just gonna copy this into a blank draft and I already have done it with this VR draft in Figma. First, the first thing is 1920 by 1080, so a full HD screen is required. 252, there's a padding of 252 on the left as well as in the right. So we know the safe area where our eyes can view the VR experience. First step will of course be to create a quick artboard. Just click A on the keyboard. You have various options here. I am gonna select any one of these and change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080. I'm just going to name it view one. Now the next step is to quickly create a layout grid. So I'm going to click on layout grid on the right, change this from the square to the columns grid right here. I'm going to change the margins to, to 252 as we earlier saw in that nice little example. And the gutter, I'm going to keep either 20 or increase it to something like 32, just so that everything is well spaced out. And for the count, I'm going to take it to the classic 12 or you can keep it at eight, whatever you require, but I'm gonna keep it at 12 right here. Now I'm gonna create my first block, so as to say, my first card which will display my game. And I want this card to be wide and tall at the same time, so it'll be a landscape rectangle of sorts. Not too wide, not too tall, just a little bit, just a little bit taller than the width of the actual card. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that it covers four columns right here, just to keep it even. I'm gonna make another one right here and another one. So I'm just gonna duplicate these. You can hold Alt or Option to drag and then you can do this. And I'm gonna create another one which will overflow from this screen right here. So 32 pixels distance I think is perfectly fine. Select all of these and increase the border radius so that we have a nice little border radius that everything looks soft and nothing looks sharp to the eye. Then we're also gonna add two arrows to the bottom. For icons, I prefer Feather Icons plugin. You can quickly install it from the Figma community if you don't use. Or you can just import any other icons you like. Make sure they're SVG, otherwise they'll, they might look pixelated. I've increased the width and height to 80. For now, since I want the arrows to be nice and big and visible. I'm also gonna change the color from black to white for now. And I'm just gonna place it right inside this column right here. And I'm gonna do one right here, which is facing the other way. So now I'll have a 32 pixel difference here and I think it's fine. I, I'll also align these to the left. And now I'm gonna place images of VR games inside. You can place any image that you like. The layout seems perfect for our display and I'm gonna select all of these right now and I'm also gonna give them a slight light stroke, as you can see, just a grayish stroke, just so that there's enough contrast between these images, the dark images and the dark background. Awesome, everything looks good. Now I just have to add little details, like the date on the top left. So here I'm gonna say 28 July, 2022. I'm gonna make sure that it's not too big. Just wanna make sure that the scaling is proper. So 32 pixels, so 32 points for the type right for the font size right here and I think it's fine. All this now looks good. Now we can start adding functionality to our VR application. Now just like in Figma prototypes, the prototypes will work very similar. So I'm gonna hold Alt, Shift out and it'll create this kind of display here. So one thing, one functionality would definitely be for the carousel to scroll along. So to scroll along, I'm just gonna hold Shift and drag this entire carousel view right here to the right like this. So now you can see all the other games that you might have in the list. You can have as many games as you like. Now the third view is gonna be where we're gonna land after we click on a game. So here, Rick and Morty is our game. Hide all of these. You can reduce opacity or very simple on the right, there's this eye icon. You can click on the eye icon. Now all of these are nicely hidden. Also, they won't be selectable and draggable. So it'll be easier to, it'll be easier to create things over this. Everything else remains the same. I'm just gonna create a sort of a layout right here. I'm gonna use half of these columns for my video right here. And the rest half can go for all the text, etc. For now, I'm just gonna copy this image right here and it looks a little funky. So I'm just gonna change it from crop to fill, <laughs> much better. And I'm just gonna use this like a video. And on the right, I'm gonna remove this block and I'm just gonna give a quick title to this. So now everything looks good and solid. I've added some text and a button. You don't have to worry about the layout or placement like that. Now, one last step before we prototype, 
we need to change a few things here and there. The first major change we need to make is to group things together. So first of all, group the carousel together. So make sure it's one group. The other change would be to flatten any icons or text uh, that is not in a group. So right here, there's text right here. I'm just gonna right click and say flatten. This will just change the text to a flat text. Quick warning before you do this, duplicate your design so that, so you don't lose the formatting features. Flatten is just gonna change it from actual text to kind of an SVG. This is just a little thing that we need to do because I found a couple of bugs with things that were not flat. So if anything is inside an auto layout frame, remove the auto layout temporarily and then right click and flatten and then right click and fat flatten you might not you don't have to flatten already flat objects like the rectangle in the background just flatten text etc just individually flatten these elements inside the button right here so if you followed along everything should just be fine now the last step is to prototype before we move on to actually viewing it so the first thing in the prototype is to click on one of these arrows drag this little circle to the second artboard right here and inside the frame navigate to view to instant now the thing is smart animate is not going to work as well so i'm just going to stick to instant now the second in the second artboard just click on this rectangle rick and morty drag the circle to the last artboard right here and instant again is perfectly fine now once you've set up everything and the prototypes for the last step click on the resources option on the top right here and say, go to plugins and say XR. You just have to remember that. Draft XR is the plugin that we want. Now, if you haven't installed it, it'll come here and you can quickly install it and run from inside here. Now it'll ask you to quickly sign up or log in. So I suggest signing up with Google. It takes a couple of seconds. Once you come here, you'll find this. Now I already have a new draft created or you can go ahead and create a new draft. Now, if there is a bug in creating a new draft, use a new account. That's the way I was able to solve that bug. New draft, and I'm gonna say publish the draft. It might take a few seconds, but it'll open another browser window right here. Woohoo, now we have an actual VR experience in our browser, which you can of course copy the link to and send it to anyone or try it on your phone. Now let's quickly just try the prototype out. If I move this red circle and I click on it, Ah, as you can see, it's the carousel has now moved forward. And if I click on Rick and Morty, as you can see that we now have the Rick and Morty virtual Rick reality. I hope you enjoyed this short, crisp video. I post such videos every week. If you want such great content every week, make sure you subscribe as well as hit the like on this video. That really helps me get motivated and make more videos. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.